Hello, my name is Elsie McKnight, a native of Zimbabwe. Right now I'm in Zimbabwe, as some of you have watched the recent videos that I took, that I am stranded in Zimbabwe, literally I was supposed to be back to America on the 23rd, and the national quarantine came and we are here right now. I'm living in a city called Bezo Bridge, and Bezo Bridge is part of Mutari, which is the fourth largest city in, in the country. Uh, Bezo Bridge is a small, kind of like a developing area. Everything is still developing. There's the old river where I am today, where people, they are catered with this river from there. Uh, water, you know, water that they use is refined from this river and also people they use for their gardens along this old river. There's plenty of gardens that they have and people above from this area, just a few meters away from this area, there's like this small developing country where actually I live there where they also use this old river. Today I want to share with you some updates about what's going on in my stay here with my daughter that I came with. Um, nothing much. I want to talk about the, um, the um, COVID-19 that we are all aware of and everyone is uh, nervous about what's going on and uh, what, what is happening maybe in Zimbabwe and things like that. So far I just listened to news and today we had we have nine cases, one death. That's what we know so far. We don't know all the situation, but we know that that is something that is announced by the national television of Zimbabwe. So far today is nine cases and one death. And this area, according to all the safeguards that are given to people, we are pretty much living that way. People, naturally, they are living that way. As I have said, that this is like an organic place. People already, they, don't, they are not living in places where they are, you know, together, like this house, 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 like that. Houses, they are already apart from each other. People, they see each other uh, suddenly. Uh, the stores that they have, there's maybe two customers at a time on a, on a, on a regular day. There's not too many people that you see just a bunch of them just walking around or standing somewhere or waiting for something. It's, it's, it's like a place where actually, you know, the whole system of the safeguard that were put in place is already like that. And literally, I chose this place as we were thinking. I was in Harare, the biggest city. I could have as well chose to stay there. But that city is very big and there's small people, it's, it's largely populated. Um, so I chose to come back out into the, like a remote area where I felt strongly we will be safe. We will be safe in every way and we can exercise all the safeguard more easily than I would have done it in Harare. And the other cautionary thing that I felt I needed to choose this area for is because the water system in Harare sometimes is very difficult. I think they are making a lot of extra, extra effort right now to bring water. But sometimes with people, they have to go and fetch water somewhere. And when you talk about you have to wash your hands all the time, those things can be very, very difficult. But here, because we have plenty of water, the only thing I could say maybe we didn't have enough of was electricity and electricity is not part of the uh, safeguard for us you not know, to catch the disease so it really did, did, didn't matter as a matter of fact because of this uh, corona situation we are actually having electricity every day so it's, it's like kind of like a, a vice versa thing I'm not sure why we never really had electricity would have it uh, around 9 at night and then 5 o'clock it's off something like that that you never really use it you always have to use other means either the gas stove or the open fire or something like that but because of this situation I'm not sure what happened but we are having electricity every day so I just wanted to update you today to just make sure those who are concerned about the far away small places like Zimbabwe, what is going on there? And maybe some of you haven't really heard about Zimbabwe. Maybe you don't know where Zimbabwe is. Zimbabwe is in the southern part of Africa. It's border with South Africa, border with Zambia, border with uh, Mozambique uh, and Botswana. 
So it's just a, a, a landlocked uh, country, small country. I think the population right now is running around maybe nine million, nine million and something. I'm not sure right now, but um, it's a small place. So we are safe. That's one thing I wanted to say. I feel safe. It might not be safe, but I feel safe. And I think that through this two weeks more that we have to go of being quarantined, I believe uh, maybe things will be at a point, maybe things can open up for us that we can move around and we can, you know, maybe, you know, think of our journeys and resume maybe our trips and things like that. But so far we are just fine. What we eat on a daily basis is regular. It's just regular things. I showed you some of the things that come on it. Almost every day we get fruits and the, there's the wild fruits, there's the um, uh, fruits that are being grown and the, where I live there's like nine different trees of fruits and so we eat a lot of vegetables and fruits, organic and you know the traditional uh, cornmeal that we, we use. So we are, we are just fine, I just wanted to let you know and everything is good here. Um, and I hope actually people can visit to see this beautiful, quiet, really beautiful place to be, this old river. Thank you so much and I'll see you again. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so to my channel so you can get a lot of these videos. I'll be bringing more of these videos, especially this time I'll be updating you on what's going on right now and I'll be um, adding maybe more things as you know my channel is about cultural I'll be getting into the cultural things and the shocks and the different things like that but right now I just want to update you about my being here and what's going on thank you so much bye bye